Well, hello, friends and neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome to a beautiful Saturday on the deck. The sun is out, the wind is down, and uh, it is a great time to be out here. Uh, you might even hear some of my over-the-fence neighbors. I think a lot of people are out in their yards doing yard work or relaxing. It's definitely a good Saturday. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about a bourbon. Actually, Andrew, I think, said I haven't shot bourbon in a while, so thought I would talk about that. And I went on the shelf, and I don't have a lot uh, that I haven't talked to you guys about yet, but I've got this bottle. Uh, this is a Wild Turkey product, if you're not familiar. This is a Long Branch. Um, so today we're going to get into this. I'll talk to you a bit about the product, talk about what it tastes like. Uh, this will be my thoughts on Long Branch from Wild Turkey. Thanks for staying with me through the break. Um, as I said, I'm a little bit shy on bourbon right now. I got quite a bit of scotch on the go or some Canadian whiskey, but uh, only a few bottles of bourbon and very few that I haven't talked to you about. But I, I will say, uh, you know, when I first saw Long Ranch come out, you know, it's a, it's a, I don't know if I would call it a partnership or something, a brainchild of uh, Matthew McConaughey and Eddie Russell. Now, obviously, Eddie Russell, ton of respect for... Uh, for uh, what he brings to uh, creating whiskey, Matthew McConaughey, I can take him as an actor, but you know what is he really bringing to whiskey? And so, when it first hit the shelves, came out a little bit high priced. I'll admit I didn't pick it up. I didn't even really try it. I, I had no immediate desire to go after a product like that. But as is my uh, my tendency, I wait around, and eventually, uh, just about everything goes on sale. Found this for a decent deal, and I picked it up. So this is Long Branch, um, as I just kind of walked you through. This is, um, you know, Eddie Russell and Matthew McConaughey got together. Uh, obviously, they're, they're uh, trying different casks and decided on um, what they were going to do here. And what makes this unique, aside from that kind of partnership in terms of this should be the, the liquid we release, is... Um, it is, is it, what do they call it? Mellowed or aged? Refined? Refined refined with uh, Texas mesquite charcoal. And all, and, well, oak and Texas mesquite charcoal refined. And, uh, you know, when I saw some clips or some videos, you know, Matt McConaughey said, well, I mean, he's from Texas, and so he brought the Texas mesquite uh, charcoal part. And, um, of course, Kentucky, you know, Eddie Russell brought the, uh, the, the spirit. I really don't know the details of how it came together, but this is their standard mash bill, right? Wild Turkey is going to be uh, 75, 13, and 12% rye, I think. Boy, I should know that off by heart, but it is the same as what you're going to find in, in a lot of Wild Turkey products. Um, and then uh, it doesn't carry an age stamp, but in the press release, they, they said it's an eight-year-old product. So uh, it's been sitting in new charred American oak for eight years. Then it's refined. I don't know enough about that, whether they put it in a big, uh, you know, big vat with some, float some mesquite charcoal in that, or if they trickle it through like, uh, you know, you do um, with the Lincoln County process. I don't know. But somehow this has been aged with some charcoal, some Texas mesquite and regular oak charcoal. And it's released at 43%. So... That's about all I know about the liquid. A little bit about the partnership with uh, Eddie Russell and Matthew McConaughey. Uh, let's talk whiskey. On the nose, fairly sweet. It's going to come up, you know, vanilla, caramel, toffee. A little bit of spice in there too. I can get just an edge of some rye spice. But mostly, it's going to you're going to get that, you know. Uh, Sweet corn, cooked butter, uh, high vanilla sweetness. Not overwhelming. Uh, it's not. It's not really gonna gonna beat you up on the nose. Pretty welcoming for a bourbon. Yeah, I, I'm not getting a lot of fruits. I'm not getting a lot of smoke or oak in in the nose. Well, a little bit of oak. All right, see how it tastes. Cheers. Uh, 
that feels good in the mouth. Very coating, nice. It's got, um, you know, more of that caramel, toffee, still that high sweet vanilla. Maybe a whiff of, uh, of fruit. And then the finish is starting to come and that's where I'm getting just some nice good oak. This is an easy drinking dram. Better try it again. Yeah, a little more, um, little more cinnamons, um, some relaxed baking spices, nothing really aggressive. So maybe a little bit of nutmeg. Sure. Um, little bit of spicing in the mouth. Not much. Um, this is uh, sweet, relaxed, uh, quite gentle in the palate. Finish as well. Uh, you know, I, I, I think I already shared a little bit with my misgivings about um, the partnership between, you know, an actor, of course, long-term master distiller. Um, and and, and I, I, just, I just worry about a celebrity whiskey products because I'm so concerned they're driven by, by marketing and not by quality. I actually like this bourbon. I know it's weak. 43%, a lot of people, I really feel bourbons kind of start at 45 and, and, and become interesting at 47 and, and go from there. That's my personal bias. Um, I guess in some ways it reminds me of a Basil Hayden, which I know so many people don't appreciate. But this uh, is an impressive looking bottle. It's almost a decanter in itself. It's big, solid glass, feels good in the hand. It's got this nice uh, wood top, big cork, wide mouth, pours well. You know, it's an eight-year-old product. It's got that good wild turkey uh, distillate going on, and it's aged nicely with charcoal. So I actually like this one. Is it is it going to really turn heads? No. But I think if you're a casual bourbon drinker, you just want to have it around every now and then. You're not a hardcore. You're not chasing for the latest flavor. I I would put this on the list. It 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 retails too high, but it's been out now. I think what 2018 or 20, like almost two years, uh, and I think now now you might find it on sale as I did. Right? I I guess I waited long enough, and sure enough, got it for for a good price in my area. So I don't regret have it. I like it. I even like it as much as. Just under four stars. It's hard to put it because when I put it in four for me, that's a buy. It's hard to know what this is. For all the conditions that I said, if you're in that category, casual bourbon, whatnot, I think four is your four is your ticket. It's tasty, easy to relax to, great stuff. Now, I wanted to compare it to um, anything wild turkey, right? Because then I've got at least the same uh, distillate, and the only wild turkey I have open right now is rare breed. What an unfair comparison, right? Rare breed. Uh, this is the 116.8, uh, 58.4%. So it's it's just uh, totally a, a different ABV. I believe this is a mix. Even though it's barrel proof, so they haven't cut it with water, I think it's uh, 6, 8, and 12-year-old barrels in there. I think someone could correct me on that. I think it was just an excuse for me to pour a little bit of rare breed. Oh, and last time the nose was so much more interesting. There it is. Just had to move it around a bit. This is, uh, now we've got that spicing. Now we've got some nice cinnamons and, ah, yeah, much spicier nose. Of course, you're going to get some alcohol burn. I did a bit there with that deep inhale. Cheers. Oh. Flavors though. Didn't even have to hardly touch my tongue. Still nice and coating. Um, uh, yeah, still got some of that butter and high corn sweetness, but it's just deeper. It's just got deeper oak, some char in there. Wow. Wow. Oh man, I love rare breed. Um, especially, in, whoops, especially in this context. I just wanted to see if I could proof it down by a lot. And uh, 
and see if I could get it in a similar range. So that was quite a bit of water. And then see what I get. Huh. Now in that comparison, ah, it's funny. The spicing still stays stronger in this. It just does, even though I've, I really hit it with water. It's relaxed. It's nice. Some cooked sugars, like I said, some butter note. But not near the spicing. Ah, this just a little bit of juicy fruit gum in there, a little bit of cinnamon heart. Ah. See how the palate's changed? Hmm. Palate has definitely backed way off with water. And I have to say, I mean, I hit it pretty hard with water. Now it feels a little bit empty with the edges of spicing, right? So you're still getting those cinnamons that I'm getting on the nose. It still coats okay, but it, but in the mid palate, it just feels watery. Oh, but, but the spicing on it, it's significantly higher spicing. Got a little bit of fruit in that, maybe almost apple. So I clearly like rare breed way more. And if in your market, these two are the same price, because on the regular shelf, they kind of sit there in my in my area. You know, rare breeds a no brainer. That's a good four and a half stars. But I will I will say today and 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 the last little while, this uh, long branch far exceeded my expectations. I don't regret uh, that I picked it up. And I, I won't regret sipping it in evenings or out on the deck. Uh, when the weather turns nice, I tend to, to hit my bourbon with a piece of ice if I'm outside. I know that's sacrilege, but uh, hey, you got to drink your whiskey how you like it. Hope you guys are all keeping well. My family continues to be well. Very fortunate to be in a great place that looks after us. Hats off. Heartfelt thanks to all the frontline people. Keep up the hard work. You guys have a great weekend. Thank you.